Before we get into the video, I just want to say that I'll be gifting someone the battle pass or a gift every single day for the rest of 2021. But to do that, you have to like and subscribe and also comment down your Epic Games name so I can add you. Also, 88% of you are not subscribed and would be very much appreciated if you subscribe with notifications on. Also, use my code QEUWT in the Fortnite app shop. It's also on screen and let's get right into that video. Welcome everyone and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get OG Fortnite settings. Now, this is mostly for PC. You can also do this on console, just not the way that I'm going to be showing you. Uh, I'll explain console when we get to that point. Uh, but let's get into the settings. So, this is console. This is where you need to take uh, my advice. So, PC, change your brightness to like 70. You can change it to like 60 or even 50 if you really wanted it to. I, I like 66. It's not that much from 65 to be honest, but like, I just like it on that. But this is where you're going to need the most amount. You need to put it on try to know because it just looks like the old weapons. Now on console, I would recommend running try to nope nine, but PC run try to nope from anywhere to two to five. I, I think three, that's where I put mine at. These, these don't really matter, but if you really want to make it like old Fortnite, copy these settings that I'm putting on right now. I like to turn the shadows off, but you can leave them on. I'll leave them on for this sake of the video. But anyway, here's all the settings you need for PC. This is not it because on PC, there is a little extra to it. So it kind of already does look like OG Fortnite, not completely, but there's a little bit that we're going to have to do outside of Fortnite. Just showing a little bit of uh, skins back in the game then. I, don't, I didn't mean to actually press that, but anyway, control panel for <coughs> NVIDIA. So what you're gonna want to do is press use NVIDIA settings. And then you're going to want to move this up to 65 for brightness and the contrast down to 45 or 40. I like mine at 40. Do not touch the gamma. And then move this to 80 or 90 area. I like mine at 85. But pretty much between 80 or 90, this is fine. Do not change the hue because it will give you a seizure. Welcome to the in-game part. Okay, so the reason why we're in-game now because the game looks a lot different from the lobby. You're not going to be able to tell that much of a difference from in the lobby. But if you look at these buildings, you can tell that they look like OG. Uh, another good part is like these. These look really vibrant and like they're supposed to in OG. But there is a little bit of some change that we need to do because... The glow of the weapons, we cannot get perfect. So, obviously this glue a lot more, but it still has like that orange glow to it. They look fine. The scar needs to be br a bit brighter like it did before. But other than that, everything's fine. Uh, but in my opinion, I would turn off shadows and anti-analyzing because now it just looks OG to me uh I don't know it just gives like that old Fortnite feel I mean if you really wanted to you can turn this back on without shadows I'd recommend just keeping this off and maybe turn on shadows uh but fit this to your PC's desire because not everyone's PC can run this uh, but I kind of like it like this, but that's how you get OG in Fortnite. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this helps you out. If you did enjoy this and if it did help you out, please subscribe and like it. would be very much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.